Day 255 for the vlog. <clears throat> Day rating was a 7. I got up really early. 4, 10, 4, 15. Made it to the track like right before they started. <laughs> and of course we walked the pub too. But got to the track right after they did the picture. Oh, excuse me. And they were announcing the workout. And I caught the, the back half of it. There was a four, four, eight, four, and the bleachers. And I heard something about starting out at 5k pace. So I tried to start out at 5k pace. And the first one was kind of a warm up. So I tried to just go nice and easy. And my friend tried to call me out and say, You can go way faster than this. It's like, I know. I'm just trying to warm up the legs. It's a little bit chilly. I think it was 52 degrees out so that 52 feels a little bit colder when it's the day before it's 80 and then the next one i tried to get up with the, the front group and run with them for the 800 and they took off a little bit before i could catch them so i had some catching up to do and i got behind the one guy and just sat i said okay this is good it's 5k pace which is not a 5k pace and later, one of the guys, Joe, he he had said, <laughs> it was our last set, and he's like, yeah, we're supposed to start off slower at 5k pace, and it's definitely not 5k pace. And I'm sorry about that. <laughs> so we all kind of laughed, and apol he apologized, but that one was, was hurting a little bit. That was, oh, excuse me, a tough run. They ran harder. Here's why I don't have the exact splits for the first mile so the four eight four i had six minutes and then the second set i had 523 and then the third set i had 455 and that's with bleachers in the middle and there's a 90 second rest in between and that was about it didn't do any other things i tried to get in some extra stretching in between the four, the four, eight, and the eight and four, every time we stopped, I just took 10 seconds for a breather, and then I tried to do some kind of tail kick, or A skip, B skip, high knee, something like that, to get my legs a little bit sharper. But felt good, that definitely last 400, I was certainly hurting. And there was a good new guy, there. I think his name was Ryan, I was trying to catch me and him are kind of alternating up front a little bit. So I'll be interesting to see if he comes back. <sighs> he can switch off more. And then besides that, oh man, my, my buddy Gary was in a bike accident because something had happened and a tire blew out. He was behind someone, I think he said, they're going downhill. He kind of hit someone, went over the handlebars. His bike got kind of mingled up, but he broke part of his right hand. His kind of lip was a little bit, I guess like right here was all purple. Lip was a little bit bloody, scarred up right here. And I think he had something on his chin and eye. If I saw him, I was like, Gary, are you okay? What happened? And I saw his hand, I thought he had a glove on, and then I saw... Two fingers were exposed, and the other two were kind of in a cast. I mean, he had a soft cast, and he's supposed to go to the doctor. So they are tomorrow to figure out how bad the break is, and if he can still swim, really. I mean, he's put in a lot of good training to just quit. So I don't think he will quit, but he's trying to think of some way to still be able to do the swim, but... I think it's gonna hurt him the most. He's trying to trying to pull or someone kicks his arm or something like that. And, oh but we talked to him for a little bit and he he's still kind of in good spirits. He still was trying to think of a way to compete for the Iron Man. He said, I don't know if I wanna tell the doctor, I don't know if I wanna tell the Iron Man officials, I'm afraid that They'll try to disqualify me and won't let me race. So yeah, man, I, I believe it. So let's see what the doctor says and go from there. 
Oh, excuse me. And then came back, saw the pup for a minute, tried to take a quick nap. I think I got in five or ten minutes. I was just on a runner's eye again from the track workout. So I just kind of sat there and said, close my eyes. I was like, go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. Relax, calm your breathing. Relax, calm down. You're okay. Get in a quick nap before work. Thankfully, work went kind of well, and my buddy Javier brought in some crumbled cookie. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate those. Had the peanut butter Reese's one. That was good, and I had it with a smooth protein smoothie and then for lunch I had another turkey burger with some sweet potato fries and those are pretty tasty I had a couple of those jalapeno poppers I'm trying to just finish them off not throw them away and I think those are hurting my stomach because the last two or three days it's just been like oh, it just hasn't been settling in I don't feel terrible I just don't feel it's settled Anyway, I just, just been like, ugh, what am I eating? I was like, that's probably the only new thing, because it's, everything else has been pretty normal. And then, I got to work, took the pup for a quick walk, and came back, and just tried to take another nap. I think I slept for 15 or 20 minutes. And that pup had kind of moved around a little bit, and the dogs were outside for parking, so she was getting a little nervous. And then... My friend invited me, to, like, hey, it's one of my free days, let's go out to get dinner. I said, yeah, sure, what do you want to meet up? And then, like, two minutes later, they said, oh, we're going to go to Salsa. I'm like, what happened to dinner? I <laughs> had my set on not cooking tonight and eating something at some restaurant. I said, oh, well, we can eat there. We can go to Dave & Buster's and eat there. And I said, okay, I guess, but... I can get there an hour earlier because it's going to take a while to sit down, order, bring out the food, eat, and then go to the salsa club. And then we got there right around 8. And I didn't see him. And so I was joking around, like, where's here? They said, we're here. I said, where's here? Da -da -da -da. <laughs> they had already started dancing. And it was like a hour dance class, and then an hour, no, 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 I think it's four showers, three or four showers of just free dance, and they're all cumbia, salsa, bachata, is there merengue in there as well? I'm not sure, I'm trying to catch up and brush up on <laughs> my dances. But we went up there, I was able to take about the 20 minute class, I'm trying to catch up on where they're at. And my friends were helping me out, and it was fine. We had a little laugh. We were joking around. They said, all right, that's the class. I'm like, that's it. You know, I just got started. <laughs> I'm just getting the gears turning again. I think we started, and right away my friend was started dancing. And my friend Kim, and she, I guess, is kind of a regular there. And my friend Ari had said, yeah, she's a regular here. It's just like the same 20 people, and they, they all kind of know each other. So, we had a good time. I was talking to my friend Ari. He's like, "All right, it's my turn to pay. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get food for you. What do you want?" I'm like, "No, no. Like, we came here to dance. Let's dance for a little bit, and we can eat later." He's like, "You sure?" I'm like, "I'm sure. It's fine." He's like, "Well, I'm gonna get a sprite." I'm like, "Okay." So we had talked a bit while she was getting her sprite, and then <laughs> someone approached me and he's like. Do you want to dance? And I was like, oh, I do, but I just saw you dance and you are very good. And I'm very much a beginner. <laughs> and then she was in a group, I think it was her, her mom and sister, and then her, one of their friends or employee, not employees, but someone from work. And so the mom had come up like, you want to dance? And I was like, oh, I was like, come on. She kind of like already pulled me up. And I was like, I'll show you. I'm like, okay. And she actually happened to be a dance instructor, so she was really nice, really patient. Walked me through two songs and helped correct my, my footing because I was just so nervous and I was trying to keep on the beat and then trying to remember what I was taught and she was teaching me different. And so my brain was like, what are you doing? 
This isn't what we remember. Like, it's not. Clear your head. Listen up. Keep going. Be fine. Have fun. Enjoy the time. Learn something new. And then she's taught me two different versions for the salsa. And I guess two different moves for salsa versions. And I sat down. She's like, here, dance with her. Dance with her. I'm like, what? No. She's like, seriously. Just go dance with her. I'm like, ugh. And I wasn't trying to be mean, but I was like, just feeling out of my element. And I was seeing everyone else. And then hearing that they were regulars and seeing them dance. I was like, these people are good. I don't want to have someone like look after me. <laughs> I guess. But her friend was really patient and quiet. Or not quiet. Really patient and helped me start to get going. And then we chatted for a sec. I'm like, okay, what else do you know? And let's try this. And like, okay, teach you something new. Try this. And so they were all really fun and nice. And then the guy there was with his friend. It was Sam and Tyler. And we had chatted probably on and off for two hours throughout the night. And he's like, yeah, I'm just getting my buddy out. It's his first time. It's his first time being like out dancing like this. So it's something new for him. I'm like, cool. Well, he's going to dance once or twice. And then come out every week or you know but he's got to get out first and then he had asked one of our friends to dance with him and he did and he was learning a lot and very patient and he did a good job so good job Tyler and Sam it's nice meeting you buddy it's nice meeting everyone there and I met another guy really no oh my gosh can't remember his name. He said he was dancing for three years. We had talked for a minute. And I was like, man, you look good out there. So whatever you're doing, keep it up. You look smooth. Like you're having a good time. You're just gliding across the floor. And he's like, oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Oh, my gosh. What was his name? I could think of like a Kirby. or something with an Irby. There's some eyes in there in the end. Really? Mikey? Tony? No. See kind of where my head's at? Like, he keeps trying to put those letters in there. The I's and the E's. And the N. Oh, maybe I'll see him again if I go. A really nice guy. Dressed pretty sharp and good moves again. And then. My gosh, I didn't need something to eat, so I went in and out. My friend had talked to me for the whole hour. It took me to get in and out and get through the line. And then they were, I was like, okay, you're trying to talk. I'm going to eat. I'll listen. <laughs> and then they talked. So it's, it was quite the day. Fun full day. It's now 1.40. I'm trying to go to bed. The push-ups are done. I'm going to read real quick and call it a night from there. What a day, what a day. <laughs> all in good, all good fun. Spread your life with health and happiness and have a good night.